Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your March 2018 general reading. The messages will not resonate with every Taurus who views the video, but if the messages do resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, check your sun, well, check your moon, rising, Venus, whatever you feel is best for you to get, to gain even more clarity. Uh, check with a different reader. They may pull your energy, okay? Don't waste your time leaving a comment about how it didn't resonate. I think I speak for everybody. We don't care. You know, we wish you the best, but at the same time, yeah, we don't care. Moving right along. Four of Swords in the Love Department. Ace of Pentacle. Some of you could have been in prayer and meditation in regards to this new start in love, this new foundational start, whether it was moving in together, taking things to the next level, engagement, starting a business together. Uh, I'm hearing, um, you know, merging money, merging accounts. You weren't sure, but it looks like you took the risk Anyhow, or you will take the risk in love here with the full card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. Wow. Okay, the full and then the five of pentacles. Some of you feel like there isn't enough or you, you aren't enough. Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, bottom of the deck, Five of Wands. Two Fives, there's a lot of change here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Some of you were praying about this, meditating about it, really thinking about it heavily. What you should do in this love relationship, should it go to the next level? It looks like some of you did take the risk, but at the same time in taking the risk, whatever that risk may have been to you or for you, you felt like, <clears throat> you felt you felt a level of insecurity there, still with the five of pentacle, whether that was monetarily, emotionally, physically, um, mentally, a level of, insecurity and compatibility because things were moving fast and or you were having communication with yourself and someone else or or several someone else about maybe the trouble that was already in the relationship before you even took it to the next level but you're hoping and wishing Okay, I take that back. I just heard some of you were hoping and wishing for this. But then you feel all of, you feel inadequate in some way. And there's inner conflict about someone moving so fast. Knight of Wands. Because there might have been a third party. Or they're, they're still dating. But they send you messages of, uh, of passion, of maybe wanting to start something foundational with you. And, and provide that ultimate level of happiness with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Could be an air sign or a very dominating fire sign, Aries in particular. There will be illumination regards to the situation or there's positivity the universe is shedding light and positivity on you moving forward in the relationship or for some of you away from the relationship hmm. justice is here whatever felt wrong in the past will be righted the it the imbalance it insecurity
the insecurity will be um, put in check by way of the universe with the sun and the justice card. For some of you dealing with air sign or fire, looks like air and fire, you have to let go of control. You have to let go of control and just allow for things to happen naturally. I think you're trying to be too much in control. All right, we'll do one more spread for love for Taurus. Messages of love for Taurus. True, accurate messages of love for Taurus. Messages of love for Taurus. Messages of love for Taurus. Eight of Wands. Wow, Ace of Pentacles again. Five of Pentacles. Let's go on shuffle. Knight of Wands. Two of Wands. King of Pentacles. Could be you, Taurus. Or another... Earth sign you're dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, like yourself. <clears throat> Things are moving quickly, or or did move quickly, in solidifying maybe a relationship, taking it to the next level, engagement, moving in together. But at the same time, you feel like there's lack. Maybe there's lack into what this person brings to the table. There's children here. You feel like there. This is a soulmate type of situation, relationship. The tower is here saying that and it's surrounding you, Taurus. The Empress is here. Um, it's surrounding what you have to offer. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. This person has a lot of passion, you know, and they may have chose this new route with you, but you're a very grounded person, and, and if it doesn't make sense monetarily or logically. It just doesn't make sense to you. And for them, it's a lot of... Um, I was just about to say... <clears throat> the High Priest is the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of illusion around the relationship, the Ten of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. A lot of illusion around the relationship to where it's having to make you, you have to feel so super strong to keep going in the relationship because you feel like it's, it's built on faulty ground. Two cards of advice say, you know, listen to your inner guide. Pray about it. What's, what's happening is to happen. The Wheel of Fortune is here saying that, you know, the wheel is turning. It looks like it may be turning in your favor. Once again, you have to loosen the reins and let things happen. This person may be 100% different from you in how they operate their lives. It looks like it's love here. But you can't get past the fact that they don't operate on a very material and logical, methodical, rational, you know, system. They're more passionate, you know, 
You're more I have. They're more I want. Yeah. Just just keep at it, Taurus. I mean, there's love here. You have to really think if you if you can deal. That's the question you have to ask yourself. Can I deal with this? Because uh, generally speaking, you know, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> you don't want to get with people to ultimately try to change them, nor do you want anyone to try to change you. So knowing that you don't want to change someone else and you don't want anyone to try to change you, then comes the word of acceptance. Can you accept them for who they are and how they are? And that's a question you have to ask yourself. You know, it's it's pretty much yes or no. And then move forward after you answer the question. All right. Career and finance for Taurus. Career and finance for Taurus. Career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance for Taurus. Career and finance for Taurus. <clears throat> Knight of Wands, the Tower, career and finance. Something's moving really fast. You're moving fast toward the Tower. Someone else is. A Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You can have that in your chart. The Moon. There, there's something working behind the scenes. Spirit, something's working behind the scenes. Justice, Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit card. Could be dealing with the Virgo. I think all of this energy <clears throat> shifts you to go within the Hermit card. Helps you to lay down the burden that was or is work. And then there's the Empress behind that. What is the tower? What is the tower? And what is the tower? What is the tower? So it's something surrounding you, Taurus, in your career and finance sector. Uh, might be in your in what's been established. So Taurus, some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We have the magician here. But the tower is something to do with you. Maybe secrets here. If somebody's holding on to a secret in regards to the relationship, the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice card here, Six of Swords. Somebody's trying to make a move to away, drop the burden. We have the Eight of Pentacles going up against the Ten of Wands. That's very opposing energy. Like, I'm willing to work on it, but I want to drop the burden. And then the, the Hermit. Some of you are going within to kind of figure out, what should I do? Because I feel like some of you want out of an established relationship. Maybe with a Gemini, there might be some spy in here, right? And then the King of Pentacles, you. You might feel like this person is a soulmate or this situation involves children. You could be dealing with an air sign. You have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini in particular. The air sign may feel left out in the cold five of Pentacle, or maybe you do. There's a message. 
Someone wants a resurgence in love. This air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is typically Gemini. And you, or this air sign wants you to offer something, Gemini. Uh, this air sign wants you to offer something, um, Taurus. And you might offer it to them, but you're taking your time. You're moving at your pace with the Knight of Pentacles. And it might be partnership better home life yeah what was that was that home and family I hope it was okay Spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality and inner growth. For Taurus. Spirituality and inner growth for Taurus. Spirituality and inner growth for Taurus. King of Cups just popped out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You can have this as a part of your chart placement. Spirituality, Knight of Cups, and Inner Growth. Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the world. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Ten of Wands, once again, going up against the Eight of Pentacles. <clears throat> Spirituality and inner growth. Some of you need to get emotionally grounded. You are not emotionally grounded, maybe due to the fact that there's a third party in your situation. Uh, you could be trying to reignite the, the fire, the flame, the passion in your relationship because you spent so much time here. You've invested so much here in this relationship. But the cards say that you've gone as far as you can go here. Might be with a fire sign, yeah, or a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The message of stability may be somewhere else, right? Six of Pentacles, somewhere else that reciprocates the love, Page of Cups. Wow. To you, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles here. But you've got to go within, get spiritually grounded within yourself, look upon past experience with this person, without this person, and see how to move. <clears throat> it might just be that you need to lay down the burden, Ten of Pentacles, Excuse me, Ten of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Now they're looking away from each other. <coughs> Drop the burden. Put work in somewhere else. But you've got to get in control of your emotions. One minute you're hot and cold for the situation, then cold for the situation and you want to reignite because you think about so much time invested. The spirit says walk away. It's ending. It's done. You've gone as far as you can go here. You've put in as much work. Message of stability and love may be somewhere else. With somewhere else. With someone else. Or it might be within yourself. Learn to love self first so that Spirit can bring in that person that's truly for you, where you can put in work with them. The Empress, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, the fire signs, not even looking at you. They're, and this Knight of Wands is in and out. It looks like they're out this time. Yeah, they're out. And it, and it, once again, it brings a tower moment to you. It just rattles you. It shakes you. 
to the point of five of cups you're grieving once again this the situation because this person is in and out what you want is the ace of pentacles and the four of wands marriage engagement a solid relationship you're trying to hold on to this situation with the four of pentacles even though there's trouble in the relationship due to jealousy and or greed infidelity but you're having and you're arguing maybe with this air sign gemini libra aquarius this is typically aquarius spirit says you've gone as far as you can go here okay some cards of advice for taurus We are going to use our playing cards deck. Two cards of advice of love for Taurus. Career and finance. Home and family. Spirituality and inner growth. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages for Taurus. Of love, career and finance, home and family, spirituality, and inner growth. <clears throat> All right. Love, five of, five of spades. Uh, cancellation. Reversal. Things may be reversed in, in, in love for you. You thought it was going one way. Now it's going another way. That's that change. Fives are about change. Indecision. Arguing. Fighting. Five of clubs. This is, it might be arguing and fighting and reversal of success in your marriage or a new marriage and new love what else flipped over was the six of clubs this talks about success in business helping your business six of diamond problems in your second marriage or second relationship doesn't have to be second but very well could be Four of hearts, change of journey. <clears throat> change of journey and or home. Yeah, some some of you contemplating leaving. I saw that in the cards in one of the spreads. I know I said two, but hey. All right, two for career and finance. 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 All right. Ace of Diamond. Nice. The new start of how you make money. It can be very foundational, very lucrative. A large sum of money can come into you. Um, if not that, then this is a new start, a new job, a big purchase, a home purchase. <clears throat> a start of a new business. And then the nine of uh, clubs. This talks about the secret admirer, the new boyfriend, the new girlfriend, to be engagement. Wow. And that came in career and home, career and finance. Nice. You had pages all over the place. And I, so it might be messages of, of newness elsewhere, but you're trying to hold on to something something else hmm. two cards for home and family ace of hearts new friendship new love the resurgence of love maybe for self or of course with someone else seven of club uh or set yeah seven of club your psychic abilities are heightened towards the opposite success. 
the opposite sex. You you're listening and hanging on to every word they say as you should be. Because this might be a resurgence in love that someone wants. Nine of Diamond. And then the king, yeah, then the king of, uh, king of wands, king, king of clubs. Ye Have your spidey sense up with this fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Nine of diamond, this is a new business opportunity, money coming in to you being restless in your current position. But you're, you're. Your psychic abilities are heightened towards this opposite person, this fire sign. Because they should be. Because you don't you don't trust their intentions anymore. Okay. Uh, spirituality and inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Spirituality, inner growth. Ace of Spade. Nice. Death, transformation, ending, new beginning. Nice. You're transforming spiritually, Taurus. Maybe um, <coughs> the Queen of Wands is very intuitive. Very in touch with herself, with others. Is a very good read of person and herself. Uh, puts herself first because she has gotten in touch with who she is spiritually. Hmm. Some of you need to do that. All right. So those are the cards of advice. Taurus, if this resonated with you, please like, share, comment. Subscribe to the channel. Take advantage of the $30, 25-minute readings. Email me at tarotofl at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instago. Ask me a question or two. Click the GoFundMe link. Fund the page if you're feeling moved to. Uh, remember, Taurus, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Let's all just heal. This is, this is a year of healing. All right? All right, take care, Taurus.